Hi Black Kittens, I brought some fan art that are drawings made by fans showing how the new look of the miraculous villain, Chrysalis could be. A while back, before we found out that Lila used wigs, fake names, and all that, most fans would draw her wearing the hawk moth outfit, like the artist's edit you're seeing on the screen. It's basically the same hawk moth outfit but with some extra details, like Chrysalis wearing a simple mask instead of one that covers the entire face like Batman, which hawk moth used to do. She also has bare shoulders and a butterfly accessory behind her head, which adds a bit more charm. But I think Chrysalis will emerge with a completely unique costume, unlike anything we've seen before. In another art, we have two versions of what Lila Rossi would look like using the Miraculous Butterfly. The first outfit, on the left, is all grey but with the neck, right arm, and both legs in black. The difference in this art is that the Miraculous Butterfly is on the side of the neck, not in the middle. In the second outfit, she's all black with a purple Miraculous Butterfly symbol in the center. The Transmission Miraculous is in the middle of the neck, just like Hawk Moths. Note the details on Chrysalis's forearm, reminiscent the gradient on the villain's legs. This Chrysalis here is completely different from anything I've seen. Her hair is short and pink, with an accessory resembling Sailor Moon's tiara. Her outfit has this lilac, magenta tone mixed with mosaic-like sparkles. I really like the symbol of her akumatization that IT even reminds me of Mayores. The next fan art, by the artist shown on the screen, depicts Chrysalis with the same hair, or rather the same wig, that Lila Rossi used for much of the series. The artist only changed the hair color, but what caught my attention are the butterflies at the end of her mask, giving it a charming touch. Her outfit looks somewhat like those corsets from the past, with lilac, purple, and light gray details. Overall, the villain's design is quite elegant. If you also like this outfit, give the video a like, it doesn't cost anything and it's quick. Looking quickly, I thought Chrysalis had cat ears. Anyway, it's quite simple compared to the others. The entire outfit is composed of purple, black, and gray, with details on the waist resembling Hawk Moth's costume. And check out those butterflies on the sides of the boots, they add a little extra flair. Do you agree with me that this outfit is one of the best? Now, this one really caught my eye with its Disney villain style hair and those details on the mask that enhance Chrysalis's menacing gaze. The new accumatization symbol is beautiful, reminiscent of Mayura's. The highlight of this outfit, by far, is the sleeves, resembling butterfly wings. Let me know in the comments what you think this mysterious detail behind her is. Do you think it's a cape or part of Chrysalis's wings? Now, the next artist completely innovated Chrysalis's look. She resembles a presenter or an illusionist. Her mask is cool, covering only part of her face, somewhat like the Phantom of the Opera. To add to her presenter vibe, she wears a top hat, and her outfit seems like it was sewn with butterfly wings. My only critique is the lack of the miraculous butterfly symbol on Chrysalis's outfit. This Chrysalis looks more like an adult than a teenager. Her mask covers both eyes separately, which is interesting. I like the unique choker, but I can't tell if that's the miraculous butterfly there or just part of the outfit. Now, this outfit reminds me a lot of Chat Noirs, except for the exposed shoulders and chest, and the hands, in general, are exposed. I kinda like this look, what about you guys? This artwork is sensational but also a bit bizarre. Chrysalis's outfit is predominantly purple, with some bright and dark colors to break the monotony. The most striking feature is the bizarre butterfly, shaped mask, leaving only her eyes exposed. And look, there's Lila Ross in her casual outfit in the corner. Ha! Huh. Now, this drawing here looks like a Wings villain. Maybe it's the style of the outfit chosen for Chrysalis, with shoulder and arm details, and especially the wings. But I don't think she'd be flying around attacking people, right? I liked how attention grabbing the miraculous butterfly is, right in the center of the outfit, but I must say, I'm not a big fan of Chrysalis's hair in this art, it's too simple. But overall, it's quite cute. I've said it before, but I really like it when they give Chrysalis some sort of hair accessory. It contrasts nicely with her evil and chic personality. In terms of the outfit, it's almost like a copy, paste of Hawk Moths, just with a few more details. I just don't understand what that thing behind her is. Is it a cape or part of Chrysalis's wings? Tell me in the comments. Imagine an outfit that references the miraculous butterfly itself. Just look at the details on the collar and the tail of this outfit, 
resembling the wings of the miraculous chrysalis wears. Seriously, it was a clever move, a masterful detail. I'm even imagining if the new villain will make some sort of reference or homage to Hawk Moth in her outfit, or if it will be something entirely unique. And this bun that Chrysalis is wearing gives her an even more professional and villainous air, showing that she's not there for jokes. There were so many incredible artworks that it's impossible to choose just one, right? But of all these fan arts I showed, which one did you like the most? And which Chrysalis do you think would be the most powerful? Comment below. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel, okay? Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.